Hello everyone. So today we'll be learning how to make this uh, beautiful 3D envelope. And the envelope has this much of thickness and if you see in this space. So basically it could be used to do save cards or mix make uh, an envelope which is loaded with the embellishments and stuff. So I'll be posting another tutorial and uh, some pictures of how the loaded envelope. Now I have this 9 1 4th into 9 1 4th. So, because we need to make a 3D envelope, so now I'll just get started with the it's a very super easy one, it's a very basic one. If we have if you have this envelope punch board, so I'll show you how it's done. So, first I take this one and then I so I'll show you closely how this is done. So I'll be marking this starting from 3 and 5 8th of this marking. As you see. So I line the paper to 3 and 5 half, 5 and half inches and then I'll take my bone folder and punch it. So we'll be moving this exactly one inch ahead so it will go since it's still here for three and a five, three five and a half so I'll take it over to four five and a half and then punch it again mark again the standard process pulling this line I punch Mark for the second line, punch, mark. I do it for all four sides. Like this card 3D could be made in any sizes, any shapes, even the width can be altered. Only thing that you have to keep in mind is the thickness. So for this one, I have kept like one and one, one and a quarter. So this is the width that I get here. So now I just hold it and then you see the envelope taking shape. That is the bigger one and then we make a fully loaded envelope. So those are really pretty ones which have which are loaded with embellishments and my style is basically uh, working with all in three kind of things. But for now I am making this a simple basic envelope tutorial. So here 
these extras as you as you fold you see this square mark here so here so I'll be cutting this off so that we get this kind of a shape here like this this mark would be so we'll be gluing it here so you see here we get this I'll be gluing it here and here and then I'll be making a box like this so I'll have to cut this off because this would be the closing one the closure and this is the base one so I have to stick this one and cut off this one 